Jasper, <laughs> are you ready to show these guys your second home? Yes. What do you have? <laughs> this is Jasper's favorite carrot. He likes to just hold on to it. And uh, yeah, okay. Have fun. What's up folks? So I have done quite a few studio tours on my channel before. However, all of those have been my studio apartments where I lived. This one is very special because it's my first creative studio, like my first dedicated workspace. It's under a commercial lease. So I'm just excited to be finally able to share the whole space with you guys because obviously you've been seeing it throughout the vlogs. Um, and now it's come to a point where it's mostly complete. So yeah, today we're gonna take a look around, show you guys how I decorated the place, and just kind of go over my, I guess, purpose for the space. And before we get started, a big thank you to Article for sponsoring this video. More on them a little bit later. Bring it here. Yes, come on. Yes. Yes, go get it, go get it. <laughs> Bring it here. All right, so here's the main door. Immediately beside that is the beverage station, along with Jasper. Got the garbage over here. This is just a Brita water filter because there's no plumbing in the office, so I just kind of have to top it off once a week. This console is from Article. I really like the matte black and a little bit of marble over here. I really like the different height of the shelves because I can store taller things like the recycling in here and just like kind of smaller mugs. And let's take a second to appreciate these like retro amber mugs. Got them from a local shop called Old Faithful here in Vancouver. This bucket is to kind of hold the excess water from when I water my plants and then I go empty it in the washroom. It's kind of a whole process. But these little containers I got from Muji. This one holds all the internet modem and cables and all that stuff, nicely concealed. And of course, we got the coffee. This is from Fellow, from Time More, Origami, and it just looks so clean. Beside all of that, we got this retro mini fridge. Look how cute this thing is. Gotta give you a fridge tour. Currently just stocked up with some Perry and some energy drinks, and of course, my meal prep from the previous vlog. And then in here, I have some of Jasper's licky mats, which need to be restocked with some pumpkin, but that's where I keep them. And then just a nice diffuser, a little brush to clean the coffee grinds. And then this absolutely stunning burgundy rubber plant that I stole from our home. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for kind of like the beverage station. Across from that, we have the dedicated meeting room. You can close off the space with this door, which is really nice. So if people have calls or meeting, they can just come in and just enjoy a bit more privacy. This room is honestly pretty bare. I still got to figure out how to decorate it. So if you have tips, let me know. Behind here we got a coat closet which was left by the previous tenant. These stools are from Article. Just check out these curves, these solid wooden legs. Oh my god. If you guys saw our home apartment tour, this is the same dining set like with the chairs as well. Both of these are from Article and it just fit better in this room so just why it's in here. And speaking of things from our home, this is the exact same console table from our home. This is the Karen and just look how sexy these leather tabs are. Like Come on, come on, slow. <laughs> so I got my main printer. I also took the label printer and some other kind of like document stuff in here. Um, Jasper's bed, which he should be in his bed right now. Jasper should be in his bed right now. Yes, thank you, buddy. Of course, we have a little fit check mirror. It's a lot smaller than I anticipated. I got it online. So it's just gonna stay in the meeting room, which works. In here is just some additional storage. I got some boxes, cleaning supplies, you name it. I know people are gonna ask about these lights. So these lights are from Amazon. I'll link them down below, but they're super flat and they just look super clean. So they can either be used for shoots or I just use them for like ambient lighting as floor lamps and they work great. You can change the brightness and the color temperature back over here. And I honestly have no complaints, especially for the price. We have four of them in the studio. And there's also a big window that looks out into the main space um, and you just pull here for some more privacy, you know? All right, so that's pretty much it for the dedicated meeting room. And then beside that, we got this beautiful console table from Sundays. Love the light oak and matte black kind of vibe. It's kind of everywhere scattered across. Got some of Jasper's toys, of course, um, chewed up. This one, he really went at it, so I'm gonna keep this one here and then just let him play with it, supervised. We, of course, have to have some athletic green travel packs for the people who come into the studio, some mints for stinky breaths. We got some coffee beans. This is from House of Funk, Luna Roasters, I believe. And then here's the DIY kind of art project Ryan and I did. Honestly, it looks 
pretty solid over here. And then a couple essential oils that I got from Muji. The main one we use is called Ceremony from Vitruvi. It's got cedarwood, clary sage, and palo santo. And then of course we have our main lounging area. Just look how chill and cozy this place looks. This is the vintage side table that we picked up from a local store a few vlogs ago. Just look how sexy this thing is. Beside that, we have the super comfy and sexy couch. That same one we have at home, except this one is the three-seater versus like the two-and-a-half-seater. And it actually like, let me just try to demo. First person, second person. Like, it comfortably sits three, which is really nice. The leather is super soft, but also very durable. Jasper goes on the couch at home all the time, leaves scratch marks, but honestly, it wipes away very nicely. And then beside, I just brought the bench from home, just so that I could have additional seating, so people could just like lounge, chill, and converse. And of course, we have the seamless paper from the previous apartment. Finally got to set it up here. Same light as before, and this beautiful, beautiful, oh my god. In this bird of paradise, oh, like, look how sexy this is. This is what, like, eight feet tall? Definitely was an investment, but just look how well it fits the space. Worth it. And then maybe one of my favorite pieces in the studio are these deep velvet chairs. Like, oh my goodness. Initially, I was kind of unsure of the color because everything previously um, was pretty, like, neutral, black, beige, brown. Um, but I felt like it definitely needed a pop of color and I think these especially with all the plants in the room kind of help I don't know make it feel a little bit more Lively and fun, which is exactly what we needed like when you sit in these chairs You feel like the shit you feel like a king queen and you feel like you own this place I mean I do but like you know it's a vibe Beside that the Samsung Serif TV which First, very sexy and structural and works well in the room, but also kind of works as a divider because the back is like white and it separates the two spaces very nicely. So would highly recommend if you're looking for a TV that's not ugly um, and you can also turn it on. It goes on ambient mode and it's very nice. Main reason I wanted a TV in here is so that creators can kind of project what they're working on onto here and just get feedback and you know just watch it on a bigger screen. So yeah here is what the lounge looks like. I'll leave the link for the rug down below. And then lastly over here we have the main kind of working area. Actually before that can we just take a second to appreciate these two big ass windows and yes they actually do open up these are south facing we're right in gas town we get a ton of sun from here which is just so nice anyways back to the working area we we need to talk about these chairs moment of silence for these sexy ass chairs as for the table it's the same one i have in the meeting room except this one is the extendable version let me just show you all you gotta do is just unscrew here at the bottom extend it out of the legs here and then you just take this piece it's got groove so it just slides in super easily here's what it looks like fully extended we're able to seat eight and it just works very nicely for this space if you guys haven't heard of article before they offer super high quality pieces that are built to last look great obviously from the space. Articles just makes it super easy to have a beautiful cohesive space um, without you necessarily needing to be an interior designer. I definitely am not, but still everything in here works really well together. It looks really nice. A lot of people have complimented on my interior design capabilities. That's not me, that's all article. If you guys are interested in any of the things that you saw today, I'm gonna leave the links below. Also just like go on the site and just see what fits kind of with your vibe. Regardless of what you're into, definitely go check out Article for your next furniture hunt because like, just look at this space. And lastly, I forgot to mention this like massive accordion style papal wall divider from Molo Design. They're actually a Vancouver company. Just goes like that. Adjust it however you want to. No, it's pretty handy. The main reason I picked this up is so that I could kind of divide the lounge area as well as the working area. So if people are like chilling, talking, having a great time, we could just kind of like close it off and tell them to shut up. So yeah. So yeah, folks, that was my creative studio tour. Um, absolutely wild to be able to say that um, because, you know, I moved to Vancouver like two years ago without really any set plans of you know, what I would be doing and, and here I am in my own studio in downtown Vancouver, which is just, 
just just wild and I'm just very thankful for all of you guys watching. Space mainly is a place where myself and different creators around the city can just come and edit and work out of because, you know, one of the biggest challenges that creators face is just loneliness. Although we have a lot of eyes on us, there's not a lot of collaborative opportunities, especially when you're working by yourself. So it's been nice to just have other people just being around me as I am working and just chat with people because sometimes there are days where I don't chat with anyone else other than my partner. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's just been really nice. It's also a bookable photo studio. So if you're in Vancouver and want to check out the space and just use it for your own shoots, film TikToks, whatever, um, you guys can check out the website below. And obviously once the BLS club launches, I'm going to be using this space for that as well. So yeah, it's kind of just like a multi-purpose studio for whatever creative endeavors people come up with. But regardless, yeah, I am just very grateful um, to have this opportunity. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'm very thankful for you guys. Once again, a big thank you to Article for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna leave all the links below. Go check them out. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, remember to be less shitty. Thanks guys. Jasper has also been loving the space. He gets to go out, meet so many new people. Hello, hello, hello.